voting set a record this year with more than a million people casting their ballot in the first four days alone. We're starting to see how many people from each party have decided to cast their ballot early. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us now live with which campaign is most concerned about these numbers. Laura? One key demographic in particular has some Democrats worried. In the 2020 election, registered Democrats made up nearly half the voters who cast ballots in the first four days of early voting. In 2024, Democrats are running about even with Republicans so far and just a little ahead of unaffiliated voters. We're just not used to seeing that in the early voting numbers. Usually Republicans wait until election day to turn out. It's not true in 2024. Western Carolina political scientist Chris Cooper says that might be due to a new messaging strategy by GOP groups that seems to be working. The Republican Party at the state level and nationally has engaged in this movement they call bank your vote, right? So the idea is go ahead and use the early voting methods that are available to you. Their message is it will save the party money. You'll get fewer advertisements on your phone. You'll get fewer mailers in your mailbox. But it's also because some Democrats aren't turning out. Political strategist Thomas Mills says black voter turnout is down sharply from 2020, especially in rural parts of the state where black voters tend to be more socially conservative. I think there's been a lot of messaging from the Trump campaign meant to suppress the black vote around the, these all these ads about um, the government providing transgender services. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have more bad news for Kamala Harris and the Democrats because we have currently started early voting in some swing states and the Democrats are facing a huge warning sign that the election experts are now sounding off about because Republicans are showing up in mass to early vote. Now, this is a part of a new strategy from the RNC and the Trump campaign to get Republican voters out to vote early. Okay, go ahead and vote. Mail in your ballot. Do not wait till election day. Go ahead and vote. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, that has resulted in record voter turnout for Republicans early on. And this, again, is causing some problems because not only is there more Republicans coming out to vote than ever before early, but you have less Democrats voting early than usual, which could signal excitement for the Republicans for voting for Trump and the GOP and less excitement for voting for Kamala Harris and Democrats, which, in my opinion, I think likely that's probably what's going to happen, right? I mean, I, I don't see what reason would you have to be excited about voting for Kamala Harris and Democrats. And I can give you plenty of reasons to be excited about voting for Trump. Just look at what happened under his last administration. That's all you really need, okay? I mean, just being excited about getting back to good leadership and getting this country on track. Yeah, that's enough. That's all you really need to go out there and to be excited about voting, okay? But again... We're already getting some early warning signs in some of these key swing states, like, for example, North Carolina, which I showed you guys a video about earlier in this video, and Nevada, okay? And I want to talk a little bit about Nevada, and then I'm going to play a video so that you guys can get a better understanding of what's happening in Nevada. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Are you worried about the future of the U.S. economy? With so much uncertainty in the air, it is natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. However, there's one asset that stands the test of time, and that is gold. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can harness the power of precious metals in order to secure your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up a gold IRA with Noble Gold Investments has never been easier with its streamlined process and expert guidance. This election year, do not let the volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. And Noble Gold Investments will give you up to 10 one ounce silver Trump coins or a 10 ounce 
silver American flag bar if you open a qualified account. Go to noblegoinvestments.com now. That is noblegoinvestments.com. And just remember, there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. In 2023, the Republican National Committee launched a nationwide Bank Your Vote campaign with websites in 50 states. Trump himself posted on True Social in August that voting absentee and early were good options. That's why RNC Chairman Michael Watley told Republicans in a meeting in Henderson in July that the GOP was on board with mail and early voting. Over 50 percent of all the votes this year are going to be cast before Election Day. We need to talk to those voters. And it looks like Republicans here are listening. According to the Nevada Secretary of State's office, as of Monday, Republicans had cast more than 67,000 votes early or by mail and were just barely trailing their Democratic rivals statewide. While Democrats had sent in more mail ballots than Republicans, the GOP wasn't far behind. I caught up with some Republican voters on Monday who tell me they're embracing early voting. Sandy Smith says she voted early for Trump. So you usually vote uh, in person on Election Day, but today you decided to early vote. How come? Well, because Mr. Trump asked us to. And we need to get Trump back in office so we can have our freedoms back. Local voter Dennis Monahan says what's good for the Democrats should also be good for the GOP. I think everyone's doing it now. Yeah. It's worked so well for the Democrats for years that Republicans finally woke up. <laughs> yeah, so you see now you heard that. Okay, so you have election experts like, for example, John Ralston, who specializes in Nevada and analyzing the early vote totals. I think he has correctly predicted the outcome of the uh, Nevada elections for the past few years or so when it comes to the presidential race based off some of these early vote totals. Although the experts say, hey, you should not rely on early voting totals. They don't really tell you anything. However, however, uh, we have not been in this territory for a while, right? When you have a bunch of Republicans coming out and voting early, okay? So, you know, at the very least, this is a good sign. It shows some excitement to go ahead and to get your vote in. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, if Republicans see the same boost on election day, then we're talking about a landslide victory. So let's read this. The early voting totals in Nevada could signal, quote, serious danger for Vice President Harris and Democrats in the state, according to a longtime reporter in the state. John Ralston, who has covered the state for three decades and runs the Nevada Independent, said in a post Monday that through three days of early voting and counting of mail-in ballots, more Republicans had submitted ballots than Democrats for the first time in a presidential election year since at least 2008. Republicans lead and counted ballots by about 6,000, roughly 2%, Ralston noted in an updated post Tuesday morning. He explained Monday that the, quote, firewall that generally contributes to a Democratic advantage from Clark County has collapsed, with Democrats only leading Republicans there by about 4,500 votes. The county is the most populous in the state and home to Las Vegas. The Democrats leading Clark County grew to about 6,500 following the counting of additional mail-ins added overnight Monday to Tuesday. Ralston said rural areas are also outperforming what should be their share of the electorate by about four points. Quote, the large mail ballot lead enjoyed by Democrats has been erased and more by the GOP uh, lead in early person voting, he said. Yeah, so um, this is a big deal, right? It's a huge deal because what we've seen is Republicans outpacing Democrats in regards to voter registration, okay? We're at a point in time where we have more registered Republicans in the country than Democrats. And a lot of that is because of the efforts of the RNC led by Laura Trump and also activists like Scott Pressler, right? We have to make sure that we give the grassroots activists their credit where credit is due because those guys are the people <laughs> that uh, really make things happen, right? They're the straw that stirs the drink. And is at the point now where you have uh, individuals like, for example, Mark Halperin coming out and saying, hey, if this trend continues on election day, it will be very, very, very hard to imagine Trump losing. Again, if we continue to see these early voting trends from Republicans, take a look. As we said yesterday, don't overread the early vote. OK, it can change. We don't know exactly who, who's casting these ballots, how they're voting, et cetera. 
But every analyst I've talked to in the last 24 hours, including people who speak publicly, say, if this continues, Donald Trump can't lose because the Democrats can't possibly do well enough on, on election day. So, Sean, tell people how you view this data now. It, we've got one more day in the bank. Every state is is either bad for Democrats or not good for Democrats. How are you reading it? I, I mean, like I said, I've spent cycles on my heels trying to explain the cannibalization of election day voters. Um, I had Seth Keschel on the show last night. You've you've had him on before. We went through the data. It is unbelievable. Like it's almost too good to be true on our side. So I don't want to get giddy or excited. But when someone like Ralston and just out of context, I mean, Ralston has not been a friend to Republicans over the decades. Uh, it has to admit. But he's but he's mo- he's mostly an honest broker. He, he's not he's not. Sure. Write. I'll, I'll let, OK, I, I okay. just he's just forth. I I have a different yeah, view. Not, but okay. I will say I, I, this. When he, when my view, which is what you were asking, is when someone like Ralston has to admit something like this, that's a big deal. Um, and so I, I feel very, very good about not just Nevada, but I, I think the folks in North Carolina that I talked to and the folks in Georgia are absolutely giddy. Yeah. And Nevada, of course, I have said, all my sources have said that of the seven states, that is Trump's worst. And yet this oh. is what's happening in the early vote. Dan, before you say. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Now, again, don't get too excited. You're not supposed to come to any conclusions based off of this early voting data. But you have outlets like the Washington Post here, okay, which is a Democrat-leaning outlet. John Ralston, who's a Democrat-leaning pollster. These guys are coming out and saying, yeah, uh, this is not good for the Democrats, okay? Republicans are showing out, okay? There's record-setting turnout for GOP voters, that seem to be responding to Trump coming out here and saying, yeah, you got an early vote. And I think that Trump coming out here and saying that was actually a great idea. It's a good idea because there's no reason why Republicans can't take advantage of the same things that Democrats take advantage of, right? I, I feel like sometimes as conservatives and Republicans, we spend too much time boohoo whining and crying about what Democrats are doing, right? Instead of doing what they're doing and taking advantage of it, right? There's no reason why we can't mail in vote while we can't early vote, especially if you're talking about some of these rural places, okay, where it could be harder to vote, where mail-in balloting might actually be helpful, okay, in order to allow those people to vote, especially, again, older people who have a hard time getting around that are more conservative, that are going to vote Trump or whatever. Yeah, I mean, getting those people out to vote early or having them mail their votes in, hey, that cuts into the Democrats and their advantage. Every single last one of those votes count right this is something that republicans should have been doing a long time ago okay so with that being said again it's, it's really hard to say or to come to any real solid conclusions based off this because obviously those votes only count one time right so if they're voting early then they're not voting on election day which means that on election day you could see less republicans come out and vote but but that also could mean this also could mean that more people voting early could be just more people support the gop in general right that could also be what it means we don't know yet. Again, it's hard to come to any solid conclusions. However, um, if uh, the GOP votes early enough, okay, and there are enough early votes, uh, it's hard to imagine Democrats having a good day on election day considering how they don't really like voting on election day, right? That's something that Republicans tend to do. And if Democrats need large turnout on election day in order to win, if they need to beat Republicans on election day in order to win, then that means that they're probably going to lose, right? It is highly likely they're going to lose because they don't tend to do well on election day uh, when it comes to voter turnout, right? Democrats tend to vote early. They do mail-in ballots. They get over with. They're done with it. They don't vote on election day, okay? But Republicans do. So I'm hoping that this is not just Republicans getting out early, but also new voters, uh, newly registered GOP voters, newly registered Republicans getting out there, voting early, getting it over with, and I'm hoping that people show up on election day as well, too, uh, and that we could finish off Kamala Harris and uh, giving her a landslide defeat and a victory for former President Trump. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a Black Conservative Perspective. Peace.